Hi, this is just a quick update on where I'm up to now with my powered wheelbarrow. As you can see, the barrow has been painted with primer. Uh, it still needs a top coat, which I'm going to brush on. Unfortunately, it seems like it's raining today, so I've uh, got it under cover. And uh, the engine's on. The engine's working well, extremely well, actually. It's very easy to start. It always starts in the first pull. It's a Honda GC190. And it did have a throttle control, which is here. However, I wanted a remote throttle control. So, yeah, I know I've got to cut that cable tie off sometime. Uh, but what I did was I just mounted a bracket here. Uh, that was very easy. A little bit of aluminium uh, uh, angle. And, uh, yeah, so that's, that's just screwed on there. There was already a fixing in the, uh, I don't know what you call it, in the bracket there. Um, I made up this piece, uh, sorry, I made up this piece here, turned that on the lathe, split it, um, used a file just to make a little grip there, and yeah, so that's really easy. All I had to do was just drill through this this uh, part here, just, just one screw hole, so there's very little changes really, and I added a return spring as well, so that pulled it down, I loosened off uh, this nut here, which was the nut which gave a little bit of friction to this lever. And yes, yeah, so that works really well. Really pleased with that. And uh, another thing which I did also was uh, to add a remote engine stop there. So that's the engine kill switch now. So to do that, uh, that was very simple as well. All I had to do was just to remove these three retaining nuts there. Uh, take off the recoil stuff. There's nothing to fall out. It's really easy to take off. Take that off. That panel comes off as well. And then you have access to the kill switch. There's a uh, push fit uh, connector onto the coil. So just, just pull that off. And then I just crimped on a new terminal and fed that back to the switch. So I've, basically I've disconnected the, the original kill switch, which was there, which was uh, activated when this uh, lever was fully depressed. And, um, yeah, what else? Oh, yeah, so the kill switch basically just operates by when, when the switch uh, is closed, when the contacts are closed, it just shorts to ground. Now, uh, of course, the, to short to ground, I just need to short to somewhere on the engine. And the engine is actually, of course, bolted down to the chassis. So in theory, what I could have done is to run a single wire going up to the switch and then short to the handle somewhere. Uh, however, I wanted to be absolutely certain that I had a good electrical connection. Uh, so I actually ran a return and then I've ground, I've made absolutely sure that I'm on uh, a good ground, okay? So not strictly uh, speaking necessary, but I wanted to make absolutely sure if I did operate the kill switch, then it did um, short to ground. Okay, um, what else? I still need to connect up the brake. The brake is not connected. Actually, it has no problem even fully loaded going downhill. Uh, when it's under power, it doesn't run away with me, but I still want to have the brake connected. Um, I had originally underestimated how much soil and rubble I could get in the bucket. Uh, I thought that it would probably be equivalent to about two, maybe, maybe possibly three builder barrel loads. It's actually four, okay? It's actually... Uh, really quite big so it's got a it's got a very decent sized bucket on there and uh yeah so it's it's really effective uh the engine i would say is suitably sized it's very low gearing uh there's only one forward speed one reverse and neutral uh, but yeah it works um it's really really effective actually I, i'm i'm ever so pleased with this it's working well uh i'll probably post another video uh, in the future when I've got the uh, diff lock lever connected up and also the, the brake system and also I need to uh, refit the, the guard there as well. But in most respects it's working. It's, I've certainly actually used this uh, several times now and works well but I just thought that I wanted to get it painted up. Okay, that's it for now.